This will still be a tight race in a closely divided country. A country where too many Americans are still struggling. Where a lot of Americans don't believe government can help. And as we gather here tonight, the people who will decide this election are asking a very simple question. Who will fight for me? Who's thinking about my future, about my children's future, about our future together? One thing is for certain, Donald Trump is not losing sleep over that question. Here's a 78-year-old billionaire who has not stopped whining about his problems since he rode down his golden escalator nine years ago. It has been a constant stream of, of gripes and grievances that, that's actually been getting worse now that he's afraid of losing to Kamala. There's the childish nicknames the crazy conspiracy theories, this weird obsession with crowd sizes. <laughs> it, it, I, it just goes on and on and on. The other day I heard someone compare Trump to the neighbor who keeps running his leaf blower outside your window every minute of every day. <laughs> now, from a neighbor, that's exhausting. From a president, it's just dangerous. The, the, the truth is, Donald Trump sees power as nothing more than it means to his ends. He wants the middle class to pay the price for another huge tax cut that would mostly help him and his rich friends. He killed a bipartisan immigration deal written in part by one of the most conservative Republicans in Congress that would have helped secure our southern border because he thought trying to actually solve the problem would hurt his campaign. He doesn't... Do not boo. Vote. He doesn't seem to care if more women lose their reproductive freedom since it won't affect his life. And most of all, Donald Trump wants us to think that this country is hopelessly divided between us and them between the real Americans, who of course support him, and the outsiders who don't. And he wants you to think that you'll be richer and safer if you will just give him the power to put those other people back in their place. It, it is one of the oldest tricks in politics from a guy whose act has, let's face it, gotten pretty stale. We do not need four more years of bluster and bumbling and chaos. We have seen that movie before, and we all know that the sequel is usually worse. America's ready for a new chapter. America's ready for a better story. We are ready for a president Kamala Harris. And Kamala Harris is ready for the job. 